So here we have Deluxe Class Rodimus Minor from the Animated line. This guy is a Toys R Us exclusive here in the States, and I was lucky enough to find one on the shelves in my local store. Apparently this and Ironhide seem to be much easier to find than RC and Cybertron Ratchet were. And I hope that's true for all of you, because both figures are definitely worth picking up. But let's focus on the plastic in front of us, shall we? Rodimus here is a made-up, futuristic space car with rad pipes and a quite possibly over-the-top spoiler on the back. The back end is a bit lacking and, as you can see here, quite hollow, so that's a bit lame. It could also use a bit more quality control. The headlights on mine are rather shoddy around the edges. That being said, this car still screams for speed and attention. It's sleek and sexy and ready to kick some tailpipe. He comes with this double bow weapon, and I kinda wish he didn't. It does have two launching missiles, pew, pew, and it'll clip onto the top of the car here to make it look stupid. But you can, if you want. It's also worth noting that you can open the windshield. I'm not sure why you would want to, but you can. His Autobot symbol is a shiny silver on the top of the roof, and of course it rolls. Let's robot. So here's Rodimus in robot mode. He's a fast and powerful looking bot with slender legs and a bulky chest and shoulders. I say bulky chest, but really it's more in the realm of blocky. I don't really like how the chest just ends here and this tiny waist pokes out. Aside from my minor gripes, I really like the way this guy looks and I like the way he moves too. Ball jointed head on a swivel, ball jointed shoulders that feel a bit limited. Ball elbows on a swivel, ball wrist with a swivel, 360 waist, ball hips, 360 above the knee, 90 degree knees, and a nice ball jointed ankle. So he's got the posability to do just about anything, unless you wanted him to, oh, I don't know, hold his weapon. No matter what I try, this is the best I can do. And honestly, it doesn't really look like he knows how to use that thing. His right arm here is all out of whack, and that's the only way I can get him to hold it to the side. He looks all right with it casually at his side, but really, I'm not a fan. Figures should always be able to utilize the accessories that they come with. His obvious classic Autobot symbol on the chest bugs me a bit because it's slightly off-center and has a blotch on the bottom. Yeah, I'm less than pleased about that. All in all, minor quibbles though. Just keep the bow at his side or remove it entirely and try not to stress the little paint woes and you've got a great figure. Final thoughts? Get him if you see him, but try not to overpay for him. I'm not quite sure he's worth the price of shipping, but if you're a Rodimus fan, you shouldn't miss this even if you need to shell out an extra couple bucks. He's highly posable, a lot of fun in both modes, and looks great. If you spot him on the shelves, you shouldn't think twice. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at Rodimus from the animated line, and I hope you stay tuned for more reviews. It rolls. <laughs>